So hey, everybody, I'm back again. And in this box, which is just out of your screen, um, this is my my fan. And uh, lift this guy out of here and see what we got. Okay, so what this is is, is a 12-inch ventilating fan. It's explosion-proof. It's a uh, 500-550 watt motor. My memory is, from when I ordered it, that everything's in metric. So it's 110 volt, 3500 RPM. It was rated at, I think, about 2700 CFM. So you can clear out, you can clear out a lot of air in a big hurry. Um, but one surprise, that's not a horrible surprise, but um, they have a, they have a, everything, everything on this is explosion proof. It's a pretty heavy unit. So you can get a look at it this way. has feet on it, so I'll have to find what the extra ones and the extra fasteners are for. Um, it comes with a cord, but it comes with a cord that uh, needs a plug. So I will, um, I will need to make a run and find a, uh, an appropriate three-prong 115-volt plug. Looks pretty good. They've already fastened it inside. It's already got the connections made. It's a sealed motor so that it doesn't doesn't or can't um, explode. This one comes from Vivor. In years past, I've not used explosion-proof motors, and as time goes on, it. Uh, it just occurs to me that that I need to do a better job. Well, and this one is a duct. It's 25 feet of 25 feet of duct that is designed to fit the end of the fan and expand outward 25 feet. So right now it's all collapsed. It, it's supposed to tie around. My understanding is it should work on, on either end of the fan. If you connect it, uh, the fan blows in one direction. And so depending on where you put the fan at the beginning of the duct or at the end of the duct, uh, you can either push through it or pull through it. So looks pretty good for now. I just need to get the proper uh, plug and then bolt that together. But you can use this for more than painting. I mean, this will move uh, fumes and air out of, uh, out of about anywhere. It's a pretty darn nice fan. Uh, at least it seems to be. I'll have to come back and, and fire it up and try it later. And I probably won't do the painting project for a while. I've got other things lined up. But this is one of those things that you need to make preparations for in advance. And so my goal has been um, start collecting the pieces and uh, I've got the paint when I get ready here I'll 
I'll get all my stuff together so that I can pull the nose off and, and respray it. So that's my goal. Well, I'm back to um, put a plug on this and see if I can make it work. Um, I did do a check with the voltmeter to make sure that um, make sure that wires were isolated and things made sense. Um, and I purchased a plug. Uh, the interesting thing on here is that the uh, wires are not in a conventional um, United States uh, code. The colors are different. I had to actually go look them up. They're in a, uh, they look like they're an IEC code. So it's green with yellow for the ground. Uh, brown is hot and blue is neutral. Now I've measured them and I don't know that it really should make a difference uh, one way or the other, um, but I am going to make sure that I follow wiring convention. So this particular plug wants, um, wants 7 eighths of an inch of wire. I'm going to hit that right there. And I get this closer where I can reach it. Right, so let's try this again. So I want 7 eighths, which goes right to there. Chop those guys off. It looks good. I heard the three wires, and then I need to strip them to three eighths of an inch. I know it doesn't have to be quite this perfect, but basically about halfway. And I love using this little wire stripper. These things are great. If you've never had one of these before. They're uh, they're pretty doggone handy. You just have to figure out what the right um, what the right size is, so that you get all the insulation off. Um, make sure that, in that case, there's just a little bit of residue there. But, okay, so I've got that. And just to double check, it's pretty darn close to 3 A's. All right. Let's see, the size I used was number 14, so the answer probably is that I should have been using number 16. Alright, let's try that. Let's try the next one. but it sure does move a lot of air. Put my plastic bag and moved it. So that looks pretty good. Well, that part of the job is done. That part of the job is done. So now I have a safe fan clearing out the fumes. That's all for now.